So today we're going to complete questions three and four in our math booklet. And uh, to start off the day, you're going to write your date in your math book with lines. And I'm going to show you something with centimeters and millimeters. So we have done centimeters so far. Centimeters are CM and we spell them centimeters. Meters. meters is like metres. It's got the er first. That's the only tricky part. And we're going to look at one centimetre. So one centimetre we can see on the ruler is just this. One centimetre. Okay, and it's marked on the ruler. And we discussed the other day that these little ones in the middle, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so, there are 10 of them, and those are millimeters, okay? So, one centimeter is the same as 10 millimeters. And we spell millimeters, M-I-L-L-I, -L -L -I, milli, and then the same, meters. And today we look at something even bigger than that, and that is a meter. So we write one meter, so one centimeter would be well, only a very small portion of a meter. We're not going to write equals there, sorry. We're going to write one meter, so now we're just using meter, one meter is the same as not one centimeter but 100 centimeters so you can see this ruler here is one two three four five six ten centimeters 15 centimeters 20 centimeters 30 centimeters so one meter is the same as 100 of those centimeters So, some things that are really, really small, so if they were like up to here, we would me measure it in millimeters, because it's so small. Centimeters could be anything up to 100 centimeters. If it's naught to 100 centimeters, we will measure it in centimeters. So it's bigger, but only between one and a hundred centimeters. Anything over 100 centimeters will be measured in meters. And I'm going to write this out for you again, so it's uh, less confusing, I suppose. Okay. So if I take two rulers, if one ruler is 30 centimeters, then the length of two rulers would be one ruler is 30 centimeters. So two rulers would be 60 centimeters. Three rulers would be 90 centimeters. And after three rulers, an extra 10 centimeters would be one meter. Okay, I wanna see if you can draw that for me on the floor. Maybe you could use a piece of chalk. You can take your ruler and you can do three rulers plus the 10 centimeters and show me what a meter is. Okay, if you can take your ruler three times on the floor, you can mark it on the floor, three rulers plus 10 centimeters and then you can find a piece of string or something that you can cut at exactly one meter. And then it says here, Usain Bolt, he ran for the Olympics for the United States. Okay, he's a very fast runner. He can run 100 meters in 9.58 seconds. That's just less, just under 10 seconds. 100 meters in 10 seconds. 
How far do you think you can run in 10 seconds? And do you think it will be more or less than 100 meters? And we did this last year. It was very funny because everyone said they could run further. But you have to understand, if he can run 100 meters in just less than 10 seconds, it's highly unlikely that you can be faster than one of the fastest runners in the world. But what I want you guys to do is measure how far you can run in 10 seconds. So you'll choose your starting point and you'll make a dot. Probably down a straight road would be good. Okay. And then you'll run for 10 seconds. You can get someone to time you. And then you'll stop. And you'll mark the next point where you've stopped. And it'll be far down the road. But then you can use the meter you've cut as string. And you can measure one meter at a time. And I'm guessing you'll only have to count up to about 30. And record how far you have run in meters and if you've got so many meters and then less than 100 centimeters you can write I ran 30 meters and say 80 centimeters okay teacher Tammy can probably run 10 in 10 seconds because she's not very fast Number four, very easy. You're just going to circle the objects that you would measure in meters. So that would be the bigger option, objects. And you'll tick the objects that you would measure in centimeters. So they will be the smaller objects. So these will be bigger and these will be smaller. And in your books, you can write down like this. 10 millimeters equal one centimeter and 100 centimeters equal one meter okay good luck i'm so looking forward to see how fast you can run